I weigh, we're on our way to Monterey. We just got to our Airbnb in Monterey. It's like 12 o'clock right now. It's pretty nice. Nine, how much did you pay for this place? Um, for four nights, it was like 120. Not too bad. So we're walking from our Airbnb to the downtown right now. It's probably like a 45 minute walk or something. Yeah. Maybe a little less. Yeah, probably like 30. They have a really crazy nice bridge here. Going right over the highway. Let's see what this statue is. It kind of looks like Benito Juarez, but... Actually, it might just be a bald guy instead of someone wearing this cap. Miguel Hidalgo. Miguel Hidalgo. Well, you can see the hustle and bustle of downtown Monterey on a Saturday morning. It's like two in the morning right now. In the middle of coronavirus. In, in the middle of the unending coronavirus pandemic. Oh, we're getting robbed. What do you guys think this is? Answer in the comments down below. <laughs> All right. How long are you guys staying here? I'm still Sunday can, and still you Tuesday. You can post it like, um, like five mission starts. Five mission starts. <laughs> I think you can only get three, but this man has five. Five yeah, sure. Michelin stars. Yes, yes, Look at this lasagna. Yes, this is insane. Zapote negro. Zapote negro. Zapote negro. Insane. Let's try it, man. Our friends made some lasagna. I'll oh, try it first. Try right here. And you have, have a bite. To be totally honest about it. Yeah. Really, really hot, huh? Super honest about it. Super honest? Super honest. Totally All right, honest. Lane's you good at that. Just, you can just say it because we said If he doesn't like it, morning. erase it. We don't mind. Erase it. the video? <laughs> yeah. If he doesn't like it, erase it. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. No, I believe like, it. It's definitely okay, so good. <laughs> yeah, it's All right. really, really good. Have yeah. a good one. Let's try. Hey, so video. Que no encontraron cena. Ma, vienen trabajando, vienen caminando Let's, más allá lejos del tec. Vienen unos tres kilómetros. Oh no my god. Don't call no, me gringo, you fucking winner. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you guys went out of your house and you never told you guys. That's me. That's me. That's the guy. That's the guy. This kind of thing. This lasagna, this people, this beer, this everything. You woke up and you said, This is never going to happen. You don't have some weed or something? Or something? Some Or something? So you're not eating to her. I used to be. Not anymore. So you have something? Hey, come, come to California, it's legal. I'll get you as much as you want. You fucking beaters stay at the side of the goddamn bill. Don't call me gringo, you beater. No me digas gringo, me te puñes. Oh my god, I'm about to bleep all this out. Holy shit. Don't, don't, please don't. Go ahead. Explain Mayate. Mayate, look, these two guys. Mayate, these two guys. These two, these two, they kiss, you know, they like to kiss. Yeah, because we're Mayate. They're Mayate. Hey, no, 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 we're not Mayate. The official, the official opinion of Just Life is okay to be a Mayate. Hey, hey, our good friends here are both Mayates. They like to kiss, and it's okay. Is this bug that light up in the dark? Oh, like a lightning bug. Like a lightning. Yeah. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Okay. And the second reference for a majority. It's a gay guy that doesn't accept his gayness. Wait. Okay. Where are you from? Veracruz. Veracruz. Well, same town. She's from the city. She's from no, the city. No. She's from Mayatelandia. Wait, no se llama. Mayatelandia. Mayatelandia. How has the pandemic affected your business? Totally. There's not a lot of people that come here and eat. 
No. So the. No like, one is so fight. Like, how do you think? How do you think it has been like cut? Like fifty percent, twenty five percent. Our food. It's like ten percent. Ten percent customer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Honestly, I think uh, I'm lucky because I have six years that I'm selling my product. The people already know me, already know the product. We have a, a lot of customers that already are friends. And, and that's why we are still alive. Have you been asked to do any events like weddings or? Yeah, yeah, but now during during pandemic, it's that's over. Yeah. yeah. I remember all the bars are. Closed. All the bars are. But closed. are they are they gonna open back up when it reopens? We don't know. We don't know because um, it's supposed to be open, but yeah. we don't know when. We don't know when. Uh, we cannot um, afford the pensions for the older people that are right now living in Mexico. We don't. We're in a crisis. People don't want to see it, but we are in a crisis. Even if we work, 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 work. Do you think Mexico is headed towards an era of more prosperity, a better time, or a worse time? Worse time, worse time. I, I think that we suffer um, a time that we are explode. But if you compare to other countries, they saw, well, the thing with the power, with the money, they saw that they can explode us more. Big, yeah. And, and they're gonna, they will try to do that. We have a president, Lopez Obrador. He's, he's a communist. He's communista. Él es communista. Do you think he's a communist? He's a communist. Or do you think he's a, a puppet for the left who wished to no. forward communist No, a puppet? Ideals? A puppet? Peña Nieto was a puppet. Peña Nieto was a puppet. He's a communist. But also, he's an ignorant. So... Do you consider the United States a friend of Mexico? Or do you think they're trying to exploit Mexico as well? A country is a country. It's not a president. United States is an ally. United States is an ally. But he has a tyrant on the government. Algo importante que dijo un trabajador mexicano fue el poder de los países está en su fuerza laboral, no está en sus gobernantes. Uh, translated to English. The power is in the people, not in the president, not in the government. And that's the that's my answer. United States is not an enemy, it's an ally. The enemy is the government. Over there, over there. We just noticed how ridiculously beautiful yeah. everything is. Yeah, we here. are surrounded by mountains. Yeah, we've been here since dark. Yeah, we got here at 12 and we were <laughs> drinking till 6 now. in the morning. So now, <laughs> wow. He just watered the plants and I didn't even notice because we were both really drunk. But apparently, he sprinkled some of this on top of our lasagna last night because these are all herbs. Herbs, I mean. You say herbs, right? Get that herb. Yes. Look, this is. Do you smell it? Can you? Can you? Look. Hi, mama. This is uh, albaca. Albaca. Uh, this is mint. Oh, that's mint. Albaca is. Uh, how do you say? It's uh, Italian. Huh? It's like, you know, pesto. Pesto, okay. Pesto, okay. tierra el chile. Oh, okay. Aquí hay romero. Romer. Mira. Mmm, huele culo. Y este, este es hierba buena. Hierba buena, menta. Y este de aquí eh, es salvia. No, no, no. Ese es salvia y norum. La que te, te hace. 
tener algún efecto psicotrópico. ¿Tú conoces, uh, ¿tú conoces el salvia droga? Sí, ese es, se llama salvia divinorum. Okay. Esto no este es. Parente, este Esto parente. no es. Es una variedad, pero no lo es. Mm. He's on mic. That's a big dog. Here, I'll stick my leg out for him. Bruno, Bruno. He's on mic. Maybe, yeah, okay, Look at that, isn't that beautiful lane? Hey. Yeah. Insane. Metela lack of sleep baby. and lack of water really make it even more beautiful. Oh wow. Upstairs, making some Oh my god, look at their bar. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys like to drink, don't you? Uh yeah, we drink. Mm. We, are, we do be drinking. We are heavy drinking. <laughs> Supposedly, this is the only town in Mexico where it's completely safe to drink the tap water. Yeah. yeah. Not, not the I've water, drank the I've drank tap water in other cities yeah. in Mexico, but apparently this one, is the only place. The, most, the best. Yeah, the best. You, you can, I mean, like, help yeah. yourself. This literally tastes better than my home tap water Get in, in, in Florida. You live, don't you don't die. You go there, there to find out. Oh my God, look at that building. There's a lot of energy, so you die. There you die, there you don't die. So you so, can. I like to not die, honestly. Okay. So stay here. <laughs> I cannot give you the pictures because I'm here. so <laughs> Lane, let me see the weed. <laughs> Wait, you said you can't give the pictures because you're too fat? <laughs> Hey man, you're husky. Like he's, he's you're not editing fat. him, so he's you're not in him. Crazy. I'm going to sacrifice him. <laughs> Deus fault. Oh, you gotta clear that shit. Ready laying your first hit in a while. I guess I'll be. I want a mic up. <coughs> All right, we finally woke up and we're about to head out again. We slept for about way too long. Let me see. What time is it? Three? Yeah, so we slept for six hours, unfortunately. Here, let me see the keys. They have this really nice contraption where you have to use a key no matter what to open this from both sides. There you go. ASMR channel. Justin and Lane ASMR. That's our second channel. Go subscribe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back downtown, see the sights in the daytime, and try to get some baby goat. All right, we made it back to the pedestrian bridge that we were at last night, and it looks a lot better in the daytime. What do you think, Lane? Is Monterrey in your top five most beautiful Mexican cities that you've been to? Um, I think it might be number one, just because the mountains, they look really nice. All right, guys, we just made it to the Metropolitan Church of Monterrey. And to our left here is the Municipal Park.
Vai ser assim, senhor. Lane. Yeah. How's your piragua? My frigo frio is pretty good. Hey. Okay. It just keeps going on. Lane, how's that mess that you made? It's all right. It's cleaning itself up. Staying my skin, it looks like. So I imagine my teeth are pretty blue right now, too. That stuff that they use is actually made out of uh, nuclear paint. waste and paint. <laughs> paint and nuclear waste, but it tastes amazing. All right, here's a quick 360. We're about to go that way. Is there a bombing here? Is that ongoing uh, investigation? It looks like. Didn't look like a regular fire. I'll say that. Yeah. Doing a lot of renovations here. We're ordering at El Rey de Del Cabrito. <laughs> it appears if you want Cabrito, this is the place to be. These are all the awards for it. This place is really high class, fancy. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we're not allowed to sit down and eat here. That's crazy. I think Monterey might be my new favorite city. Communism. Oh wow. This is really an anti-communist thing. What if this is about their president who is uh, apparently a communist? Oh my god. This is the parking for El Rey Cabrito. That place is massive. you don't know cabrito is baby baby goat it's like the veal of goat and it's a specialty in Monterey you're doing, you're doing the again. Yeah. all right here's the first bite how is it it's actually really good it's really good you should try one Here's the queso fondito, and they got extremely ripe avocados. The salsa is fantastic. They packed a bunch of extra tortillas. Ten out of ten. Unfortunately, it looks like we're about to be rained on, though. All right, we're here in the historical barrio in Tiguo. Have a look around. It's beautiful. You guys hear that? All right, it sounds like those guys that uh, we saw earlier are out front of the government building making a little bit of a racket. The police are swarming all over it. We can hear uh, somebody on a loudspeaker, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, we're in the line. 
We're gonna go see where this leads us. Ask those police officers what this is all about, and it's just an anti anti presidential protest. We asked the police their opinion on it, and uh, they were trying to be really diplomatic, but it definitely seems like uh, they're not on the side of the government on this one. Here we are at Senor Gorditas for breakfast. We went to the other side of the city and we're gonna check it out, but it's pouring rain right now and it's very windy. The mall's pretty closed down. So we've just been walking around and we're at a strip mall now. It's really nice. Got a little slide. But unfortunately everything's still closed. Okay, we found out what was going on. Basically, they're not letting people into the park because of coronavirus and also because Hurricane Hannah uh, is hitting Texas right now, apparently. We didn't even know. And it causes landslides in that area. So they're trying to advise the and residents. Flooding. Yeah, landslides and flooding. And they're trying to advise the residents to move. So they're not letting anybody else in right now. seen a junkyard dog, but have you ever seen a pack of junkyard Like their doors, like their doors are about to be flooded. Yeah. All right, guys. So we were trying to get to our last destination before uh, Justin heads out for the rest of the trip, and uh, the Uber driver didn't want to take us anymore because the uh, the road had flooded over it. You couldn't even see the sidewalks next to it. It was pretty high up there, and uh, so we had to turn around, come back here. Uh, I'm gonna head out to Saltillo tomorrow. But I think that's gonna be it for Justin for now. Yep, I got work tomorrow morning, so I'm hoping that my flight doesn't get canceled. I'm gonna try to head out of here tonight. Again, welcome on board. 